Spiky, you shouldn't play in the dirt. Do you know that dirt has many microorganisms that can be harmful? But I can't see any microorganisms on my hands. It's only dirt. You can't see these microorganisms without a microscope. Oh, what's a microscope? A microscope is an instrument that is used to see objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. That sounds fun. Can we use it to see the microorganisms in the dirt? Wait, Spiky. Before using a microscope, you need to understand how a microscope works. To use a microscope, we put our specimen, for example, the dirt, onto the slide. Then, we mount the slide onto the stage and secure it using the clips. The eyepiece, which you use to look at your specimen through, rests on top of the microscope on the body tube. The eyepiece can magnify a specimen up to 10 times, and the objective lenses can magnify it another 100 times. This means that you can see the objects magnified 1,000 times. Wow! So, whatever I see is 1,000 times larger than its actual size? Yes. You can use a high magnification objective lens to see the specimen in more detail. You first choose the lowest objective lens by using the revolving nose piece. The shorter the lens, the smaller its magnification power. If you want to use a high-powered lens, you have to move the stage down so that the lens doesn't crash into the slide. Then, adjust the light source by rotating the mirror to reflect light onto the specimen. The stage has a hole, which allows the light to reflect onto the specimen. The amount of light that reaches the specimen is controlled by a rotating disc beneath the stage. This is the diaphragm. It has different sized holes and is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that falls on the specimen. You may need to focus with the help of the coarse knob to move the stage up and down until the image is clear and not blurry. Be careful while moving the stage up not to knock into the objective lens. When the coarse focus is achieved, we use the fine knob to do fine adjustment to get the clearest image. The base is the heaviest and lowest part which rests on the table. The arm connects the body tube and the base. Now, put some dirt from your hand on a glass slide and mount it onto the stage of the microscope. Now, look through the eyepiece. What do you see? It's dark. Adjust the light source. I can see something now, but it's very blurry. Now what do you see? That is because your specimen is out of focus. You need to adjust the coarse knob and fine knob to achieve a better focus. What do you see now? Yes, I can see microorganisms on the dirt. Whoa, there are so many of them. The microscope is so useful. Microscopes help scientists to study tiny objects in much more clarity and detail. They have helped scientists study cell organelles like nuclear membrane and even the smallest structures like bacteria. Time for an exercise! Which part of the microscope should you hold when moving or lifting the microscope? A microscope should be held with the arm and the base. The arm connects the body tube and the base. The base of a microscope is the heaviest and lowest part, which rests on the table. These parts are designed to hold the microscope and are stronger than the rest of the parts of a microscope. Let's summarize what we have learned in this video. A microscope is an instrument that is used to see objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. In order to work with the microscope, we mount the slide containing the specimen onto the stage 
and secure it using the clips. The eyepiece can magnify a specimen up to 10 times, and the objective lens can magnify it another 100 times. There are three objective lenses with different magnification powers. The coarse focus is used to change the focus of the lens. The fine focus is used to clear the focus further. We adjust the mirror to reflect the light onto the stage. The diaphragm controls the amount of light that reaches the specimen. The base and the arm of a microscope are there to hold it up.